Hey everybody, uh, today's video is going to be about uh, setting up and using a local web server on your Windows uh, based computer and we're going to be using uh, my favorite uh, the uniform server which you see here is uh, what it would look like on your local drive and just to show you here um, I've got a lot of instances of the uniform server over the years including uh, some very old ones but you also notice I do have WAMP server installed and XAMP and XAMP Lite but I keep coming back to uh, Windows uh, pardon me to a uniform server I've been using it since September of uh, 2009 uh, shortly after it was introduced and the reason I like it the most is that it's portable it's designed with portability in mind it doesn't install anything on your system it just extracts to your hard drive and it runs from there and if you want to copy it and move it you just drag it over onto your USB stick and you can run it from the stick if you'd like so anyways um, let's get started and if you'll notice I already have a uh, the current version a 0.11.7.8 uh, here but we're going to create another one just to show you uh, how that's done so I'm going to go ahead and uh, create another folder where to put it to you SZ 11.7.8 and I'll call it dash 2 just so we know it and you can have as many of these on your system as you have room for the only uh, thing to keep in mind is that you can only have one instance running at any one time uh, with the default ports you could of course change all the ports and have more than one running but that's beyond the scope of this exercise so anyways let's go and get uh, the uniform server so this is what we're going to end up with eventually in another video I'm going to create today but here's where we go the uniform server.com I'll have the link in the description and click on the windows download and it'll come from SourceForge and we want to click here download the latest version and I'm just going to pause the uh, video while that happens okay as you'll notice the uh, uniform server has finished downloading so we'll go ahead and close that Come back over here to my downloads there it is let me just uh, I'll cut it now we'll go get it again back to my C drive and it's best to put it in the root of your drive as opposed to any other location uh, you cannot use it in a folder like my documents because there can be no space and uh, if you're going to move it around later on or whatever it's always nice to just use it from the root so here we go in our second instance paste it and it's not a program exe it's a self-extracting archive so just double click it and accept the uh, warning and it asked me if this is where I want to extract it and it sure is and I'm using my favorite 7-zip uh, archiving tool and you should use it too and there it is that's it so we can go ahead and delete that we don't need it anymore yes I do and there you have it that's all there is to it you're ready to go almost now there are a couple things we should do ahead of time um, just to make life easier and the first thing we want to do is to go into the home folder 
to the uniform server configuration and open up the US config any file and what we're going to do there my notepad plus plus is to do this to change the snag user at startup to change the MySQL password if you don't do this it's going to ask you if you want to use the default password of brute or change it to something else and it's just a minor little annoyance but I like changing this to false so it doesn't do that and we'll go ahead and save that and close this tab so it doesn't open up the next time and there we go so back here to into the Unis server folder you'll find the unit controller and that's where you know oh I guess I should shut down the current one let me go ahead and do that stop my SQL and Apache and close it that's basically the control panel so let's try that again and it'll ask you if you want to do this and yeah 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 allow access and here is the control panel now before we get started let's take care of one more thing go into the Apache startup pages and uncheck display page one at startup do it again and display page two at startup will uncheck otherwise if you don't uncheck those two you get two pop-up pages when it first starts just to show everything is okay and then the other one is to show your location but let's just leave it like that click start apache accept that warning and start my sql and there you go that's it uh, your local server is running if we minimize that you can see it down in the taskbar there it is we go here and uh, type in localhost and we don't have a WordPress install there and there you see the localhost page to show you that everything's running and you can go to PHP my admin from there add minor and get your PHP info but that folks is it on starting that and in the next video we're gonna go and install WordPress